Oz and Sophie are on the ground and they're talking to Nadia of the Baroni family. And we're actually getting the conversation of what happened at the end of episode three. We did see Vic come and save them. And well, it turns out with them being at gunpoint, Nadia is saying, we know everything you've been doing, Oz, but we're not going to sit around and wait for you. Oh, did you know that Oz was the one that got rid of your brother, Sophie? So Sophie's looking at him like, wait a minute, Oz, this is what you're doing? She already believed that she couldn't trust him. But now we hear Oz saying, listen, I was bringing you guys the drugs. It's yours now. We can make some money together. And then out of nowhere, this is where Vic comes and saves the day. Everybody gets up. They scrambling. Oz gets to shooting. Nadia and them dodging out the way. Well, Sophia and her and Oz make eye contact. And that's when we hear Oz tell Vic, get the hell out of here. Leave her. She ends up calling Julian Rush because she needs somebody to help her out. She's in a time of need and desperation. What up, what up? I'm Odi J. Welcome back to the channel. This is the recap of episode four of The Penguin. And if you're enjoying this show, The Penguin, over on HBO Max, then do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button. I'm thoroughly enjoying this show. In this episode, we're going to be following Sophia. So let's go ahead, kick back, listen to the breakdown. And in the end, let me know what you think about the whole episode. We get a flashback of Sophia's story before she got incarcerated. Now, she's at this ceremony where they're talking about the new group that they put together, this organization for women that are going through a depression and may unalive themselves like her mother did. Now, she's getting up and giving this speech, and she's talking about she was very, very young when she seen her mother unalive herself. As they're leaving, Sophia and Oz are talking. And if you remember, she was the one that told Vic that Oz used to be her driver, the same way that Vic is Oz's driver. Now, he makes a couple of jokes talking about how things are within the family and offers her a cigarette. Now, she smokes this cigarette and she says, the difference between me and you, Oz, you potentially have a chance to be promoted because you're a guy. Now, before they leave and get into the car, there is a reporter that's trying to talk to Sophia. Now, this reporter is talking to Sophia about different women who have been working for the 44 Club, not the Iceberg Club, but the 44 Club up under her father. She's saying that they've been unalived in the same kind of fashion, a hanging. And we're just trying to get a couple of questions. Now, Sophia says the right question and says, what are you asking me these questions for? And then in return, she answers her own question. I don't talk to reporters. So she wanted to know, why are you asking me these questions about my family? But then she cuts her off and you hear Oz saying, Hey, get out of here, lady. She doesn't want to talk to you. During the flashback, we're following Sophia throughout her journey right before she gets locked up. Now we see them sitting at the family table, having a Falcon dinner and we see young Alberto and the dad is basically comparing the two. He's looking at Sophia and saying, why can't your brother be like you? Because we see Alberto, all he wants to do is party and have fun. Wink, wink. Drugs and women. So Alberto, he's living the young, I'm rich life. And the father is trying to get him to get in line because the business is supposed to be him. Next in line to take over. Now, Alberto leaves after he gets a phone call. And we see Sophia and her father talking. And this is what he explains to her. Your brother is an F up. So what I want to do is put you in charge of the family. When I'm gone, you're going to step up. Now, we know that a girl isn't supposed to be the next in line. And Sophia is saying, what would everyone think? He said, don't worry about it. They know you're my daughter and we're going to go ahead and do that. And they're going to do as I say. But now she starts to get curious about what happened to her mother. Even though she was young, she still remembers a few things. Now, her father starts to tell her that your mother was strong. Even though she seemed good on the outside, she was depressed and she was holding it in. Now, Sophia, she does remember a few things. Some scratches on her mother's hands, her hanging from the ceiling. And now her father is saying, oh, man, it was just something your mom did. I didn't have any control. But now she does have her suspicion. But you know how it is. You don't want to accuse your parents of doing something when they may have not done it. The next day, her and her brother Alberto, they're riding off and they're having a conversation. Now, Sophia, she started to dig a little bit more. Hey, did you know about our dad? Did he have like any affairs or anything? 
We know Alberto is going to keep it real. Alberto says what he did at work, he did at work. Meaning if he did have an affair, he did it at work. And that was just part of the job. That's part of the business. He's the Falcon family. But when he came home, he was there for our mother. Now, he does say, I can't tell you what dad exactly does. Because if I did, he'd have to kill you. And all the girls that work here are female assassins. So he's joking around, but he doesn't want to expose what his father does because he does the same thing and he's next in line. Now, you have to remember, Oz is the driver. So Oz hears everything that's going on. And that's why in the present time, he's so connected with everything the family has going on because he watched these two grow up being there. Sophia, she's not getting the answers that she wants. So she looks in her pocket and you remember the reporter, Summer? Well, she has the card and she wants to go meet up with her. They meet up in this alley. Oz is still in the vehicle. But now Summer is explaining, listen, here goes some of the women that worked at your father's club. Now, they went out the same way your mother did by unaliving themselves, by hanging. But if you look at their throats, it's more in line with someone strangling them compared to them being hung up. And also, look at all their hands. They're fighting back. Now, this triggers something in Sophia's mind for when she remembers her mom hanging and looking at her fingernails. It looked like she had skin up under her fingernails, blood, because she was probably fighting back also. Sophia gets mad and tells her, don't you publish any of this because she's starting to think maybe my dad did have something to do with it. When she hops in the car, she tells Oz, drive off, drive. And Oz is like, hey, you're not supposed to talk to reporters. I'm, I don't think you should have did that. She's like, just drive, Oz. No one listens to you and no one cares what you're talking about. Once they get back to the house, there's an event going on. Now, her father ends up telling Oz, tell Sophia to come into the office. Now, it turns out Oz actually told Mr. Falcone, well, Sophia was talking to a reporter today because his job is security. Not only is he the driver, he has to look out for her. So the conversation between her and her father, he's like, did you betray me? Betray me and go and talk to a reporter? She's like, I didn't tell her nothing. I didn't say nothing. But when I was little, I remember you had like a scratch on your hand. And I'm not saying you didn't think the mom, but it looked like she was fighting back. So the dad said, you need to take yourself home because right now we can see there's some guilt. And he's like, get out of here because he feels like she betrayed him by going to talk to a lawyer. Now, will she say something? He isn't sure, but he's going to damn sure make sure she doesn't. As Oz is driving Sophia home, she's yelling at Oz. She's pissed. She said, no one cares what you think, Oz. And in the present day, now you see why he's trying to backdoor Alberto and Sophia. Because they didn't really care too much about him. So, hey, he's the penguin. He got to do what he do. He told Mr. Falcone what actually happened. When they get ready to leave the house, they arrest Sophia for the murder of all of the girls that Summer was showing and the murder of Summer, the reporter. Mr. Falcone then set her up. When they take her in, Alberto shows up with her lawyer and she's like, Dad is trying to set me up. Why would he do this? And Alberto's like, no, nah, I don't think dad would do it. Long story short, they're telling her, listen, you're going to have to sit in here for six months until your trial starts. She's going crazy. Like, I'm innocent. I didn't have anything to do with it. But you got to remember, this is the mob family. They got all kinds of ties. The police reports, they're all tying back to Sophia. And Alberto's like, man, you're strong. We're going to get you out of this. Well, things didn't go according to plan. Instead of going six months to prison, well, they take her to the insane asylum, straight to Arkham. They say, well, we got to do a mental evaluation on you. We're going to put you in there until trial starts, because right now you're kind of crazy. You're a little loony. And this is where the hangman begins. Now, it's her first day in the cage. They lock her up. Pure isolation. The only time she can come out is for lunch. And while she's sitting in this cold cell, well, there's someone else talking on the other side. Hey, can you hear me? My name is Magpie. I'm looking for friends. It's your first night. And if you're in here and you hear a voice like that, the only thing you're thinking is this is going to be a long six months. Well, it's the first day for lunch. 
and Sophia sitting here looking at this slop that they gave her. It was like one chunk of beef brisket, and then the rest just looked like water with brown food coloring in it. It looked terrible. Now, she's sitting down next to Magpie and Magpie. <laughs> oh, lunch is good. I don't have any friends, but I saved you this seat. <laughs> oh, candy. <laughs> mm. Well, while Magpie is excited about what the hell is going on, Sophia's looking around like, wait a minute. Why is there? Who is this? Wait, 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 wait. Why do all of us have chains on our, our feet, our necks, and our arms? Who? Why? Why is this girl free? Well... She's free for a reason. She's free to start whooping ass. She goes straight to Sophia. She leans over. <laughs> Your first day, you're the hangman, huh? You killed all those girls, huh? Admit it. Admit you killed all those girls. <laughs> and Sophia's like, I didn't do it. Well, this girl doesn't care. She commences to whooping ass. I'm talking good old fashioned, stomping out, gut shots, everything. And now all the girls in here are screaming, you killed the girls. You killed the girls. Man, this is a tough first day. Now, after this, her new therapist comes in. This guy's named Julian Rush, who we've seen her call at the beginning of the episode. We also seen her when she first got released. This is who she's talking to. Now, when he goes in, he's asking the questions like, I heard you had an incident. She's like, yeah, some girl was unchained and whooped on me. He's like, man. We don't know how that happened. We're going to look into it. Dr. V, we're going to make sure that you are all right because we can't be having this. And Sophia's like, no, nah, it's like you guys set that up for me to get whooped. Now, at this point, we don't know what Julian Rush, is he with us or is he against us? But all we can do is go off of his word right now. And he says he's going to look out for Sophia. Well, it looks like they're trying to set up Sophia because the very next time we see her is back in the chow hall. And this time, the roles are reversed. They give her a fork, and the lady that was unchained, she's chained up now. And they're telling Sophia, go get your lick back. But Sophia's like, nah, I know what you guys want me to do. If I kill her, you're going to say I was crazy, and I really did kill those other girls. But she ends up getting too close, and this maniac knocks her down and takes the fork. And what she does next has Sophia looking like, what the hell is going on in this insane asylum? The lady takes the fork and unalives herself. And from this moment on, they're trying to break her. I mean, break her, break her, break her. She keeps saying she's innocent. Now they got her doing shock therapy, trying to convince her that she's crazy and out of her mind, that she's the one that actually committed those murders on the hangman. She's the hangman. I'm the hangman. You're going to learn your name. It's the hangman. You unalived all those girls. Now, Julian is sitting there watching. He even confronts V and says, what if she really didn't do it? What if she's innocent? He said, get your sh together. She did those crimes. But that's when you have somebody in your pockets. You do whatever the person paying is saying. And if you can see Julian, he's looking off like he doesn't want anything to do with it because he does have a little connection with her, a little bond. And this is unethical. But this is where the checks are coming from, the Falcone family. After all of this shock therapy, six months has finally passed. Alberto shows up and he says, unfortunately, Sophia, you're not going to be getting out. You're not actually going to go to the trial. The doctor ran an eval on you and said you were unfit for trial. So all of this shock therapy that they've been doing, they've just been putting it on the books. Oh, we needed to do shock therapy. She was tripping out this day. We had to put her on shock therapy. So now all of this looks like she's really going crazy. And of course, we know what's going to happen. The outcome in these courts are going to be, oh, she's too crazy. And if they can pay off the doctors, the doctors can write these evals and say her psyche valley isn't good enough. Then, of course, the judge is going to be on their side, too. At this point, there's nothing else to lose. When she goes back in here, she's hearing that she's not going to trial. She might have to do another eval. Magpie is, oh, I got candy again. <laughs> oh, they're giving you candy. You're good now. Sophia loses it. And what does she do? Whoops on Magpie. Slams her head into the table. Stomps her out. Gives her a beating that she definitely deserved. Because she feels like you were trying to become my friend. To tell everyone information about me. To make it seem like I was crazy. And that's how you was getting the actual candy. Which was really medicine. To keep you geeked up. So Sophia. Yeah. 
she didn't turn into one of them ones. Fast forward to the incident at the beginning of the episode, and now she's waking up at Julian Rush's house. Now she's in his clothes, and he's like, take your time. She starts looking around the room. She sees some medicine. She starts to wonder, hmm, is he really for me or is he against me? Because he watched everything that happened. Now, Julian is saying you should go ahead and get on that flight to Italy because she said she couldn't trust Oz. And if she doesn't leave her uncle Luca, well, you know what will happen with that. So now she's talking to Julian and saying the only reason you're around is because you feel guilty. My father told me I was sick, but in reality, it wasn't me that was sick. It was the world. And you sat by and watched all of this. But before she leaves, she gives him a wink and she heads out. Now, this Sophia ain't the same one we knew in episodes one and two. This one is different. Sophia didn't change up the whole wardrobe. She let her hair down. And well, when she gets to the house, Uncle Luca is having a, a toast to the whole family. Well, Sophia ain't trying to hear none of that. She proposes a toast also. and She says, let me speak a little bit. And you remember Cousin Carla? She's like, I'm going to take my daughter and get out of here. She said, nah, have a seat. The last time we were all here, I remember it was my father's birthday 10 years ago. Now, remember, she was only supposed to go to jail for six months before trial. Well, it's been over 10 years. Sophia lays it all on the line. The only person that came to look out for me and write me was my brother Alberto. The reason we're here today, because he's no longer here. But guess what? None of you guys looked out for me, but all of you did character statements and said to the judge that I wasn't worthy of being free. But that didn't matter because my father already did that. Now, unlike everyone else at this table, I'm innocent. Some of y'all got more bodies than I do, and I allegedly got 10. So what does that say? I'm not good enough for this family, but you don't have to worry about that after this moment. We didn't see a full shift in Sophia's character. Sophia takes her cousin's daughter outside to the greenhouse with some cake. Now, the little girl said, my mom, Carla, told me I shouldn't talk to you. You're crazy and did some mean things. Sophia said, I did. But that's because my dad had me locked away. Now, you eat this cake and sleep out here like me and Alberto did and don't say a word. Now, Sophia, she's about to do something. We aren't sure what, but believe me, it's scary. Well, the reason they slept outside is because the next morning she goes into the house with her M50 gas mask and, well, she put gas or some kind of pesticide or some kind of fixient in the ventilation shaft to the whole house. Everyone in there, they're sitting down. They ain't sleeping. They're on alive. The silent killer. No smell. You can't see it coming. Hey, breathe in too much. That's the end of anybody, unless you have the proper respirator or gas mask. The last thing we see, she goes into Johnny V's room, tubs him to wake up, put his pants on, because we got to talk. The hangman is back in town. All right, there you go. The recap for episode four of The Penguin. Sophia has officially became the hangman. She's really putting in work. Now, they accused her of 10 bodies but we've seen about 15 to 20 of them in the house. So let me know what you think about Sophia. And is she going to be able to get even with Oz, AKA the penguin who really set this off just by doing this job and telling on her. My name is Modi J. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.